Okay, so our last finish in here from this front headlock is gonna be one that um, I've seen a lot uh, at the University of Pennsylvania where I've been coaching and training with uh, the Pennsylvania Regional Training Center. And just a, a great opportunity to, again, get our takedown and possibly get some backs off of uh, what we're gonna call a cross knee pick here, coming off this front headlock position. So we've done a lot of attacking with the hand, turn this way. We've done a lot of attacks with this hand, where we're coming here, here, um, doing a lot with our hand that was on the tricep. We haven't done so much with what's on around the head. So this one's gonna be one that we're gonna use the hand that's on the head. We're gonna sink our shoulder deep, just like we were doing when we were trying to get our, uh, set up our arm throw, and like we were trying to do our knee tap. We run our shoulder to get really deep there, and then we're gonna look to attack right behind our opponent's knee, and then we're gonna do another little baseball slide in there so we don't get rolled through on our finish. So again, in here, I still want to be nice and tight here with this hand, uh, and this is going to be good. This will be, if he's pulling my elbow, I can do this. If he's really trying to fight and pull my elbow in, that's good. This will work, but he doesn't have to be. If he is, I actually like it because he thinks that he's helping. He thinks he's doing a good job of pulling my arm in and put, making me uncomfortable. It's going to make it easy for me to kind of jump to this right here. So we're in this position. I'm going to be moving Tony around. He's pulling that elbow down, and then when I'm ready to go, just like we did kind of on our knee tap earlier, this elbow sinks deep. And we're, instead of going on the outside of the leg, we're gonna go on the inside and we're gonna grab his knee. Keeping this nice and tight, just like we've been doing the whole time today. And we're gonna drive through, but as we do that, we're gonna stay low. Because remember, if I get high here, he could roll me. So we're gonna do another like baseball slide and slide our knee through. So I'm drive here. Now, as I hit the mat, you notice the hand that was doing, or grabbing the knee, slid through here again. And we ended up in the same position that we've ended up in in a lot of the moves today, in a kind of like a pancake position, I'll call this where if we can hold him here and get a pin, great. Sometimes this guy will fight off his back, but if we can get him here, really good chance that we're at least getting a few back points. So, again, I have my front headlock, and again, I love if Tony's trying to pull my elbow down because he feels like I can I'm trying to make it like I'm trying to fight and trying to pull it away. Like, I don't want him to have my elbow here, but then I'm like, okay, you can have it. And then we're here, again, shoulder really deep. If my shoulder's up high, if my shoulder's up here, I'm not going to be able to reach his knee. Again, I have short arms. I need to get my shoulder in there deep. And as soon as I can get a hold of the back of his knee, I know I'm going to get this move. As soon as I get it, that's when I'm going to start running my feet, keeping this arm tight. Run, run, run. Slide. And that hand just rotates up to here. So, from this angle. So, I won't spin here at all this time, so we end up going this direction. But as Tony actually pulled my arm down, I'm like, oh, I don't want him to do that, but then I sink my arm deep. I get that grip behind the back of his knee, and again, immediately start running, keeping pulling on this other arm here. Run, run, slide, adjust that hand to end up with him on his back, and that's in that pancake position. And uh, do it one more time a little faster, I guess. So, this angle. So I have my front head locked. Let's pretend I already moved him just so I can keep this angle, but I'm gonna just move it a bit here. So I sink my shoulder deep here, boom. Hand rotates out, and then we finish on top with our bottom knee um, sat through there. And so, guys, this is just one final option off this front headlock. Um, if you've seen a lot of the stuff we've gone over, we've had an opportunity to put a guy to his back and get a pin. This is no different, but it is, like I said, a lot of the attacks we were doing with our left hand, or at least being set up with our left hand, this is one that's a little bit deceptive because it's coming off our right hand, and instead of going knee tap, we're reaching on the inside of the knee, and driving him straight to his back, possibly getting a pin here.